July 2018. Been doing some things on the boat that uh, we've been planning for some time. First one was to tint the uh, side windows, cabin windows in the boat. Took down the old Venetian blinds. Made the boat so much bigger inside and really relieved the load on the air conditioning. So it was a good modification. Took some time to do, but got it done. We did the sliding window in the back uh, last fall. So we've got all of our windows tinted except the front ones. Fourth of July came and went. Uh, the crowds built up as they always do for the fireworks. Uh, I guess we've seen a lot of these over the years, but you know, the little kids still love them, so we sit through them. Actually, some of them are pretty good. I don't know Francis likes them as much as the little kids do. But we were going to be heading out soon, so we went to bed early that night when the fireworks were over. And uh, the next weekend found us in uh, Long Island. Uh, turning into uh, our favorite marina. They held us up a little bit while they uh, figured out where we were supposed to go. We knew where we were supposed to go, but it turns out they didn't. But that's okay, that's fine. This is Mitchell's Marina in Greenport, New York. It's a municipal marina and a very nice one. We have friends here in Greenport, so we like to go over at least once a year and see them. The big boats come in on that pier. In the next day or two, this uh, pier was fill, filled with uh, mega yachts. But we go over on a Wednesday because we like the lack of traffic midweek. And uh, so we came in. Got a camera in the front and a camera in the back. Uh, not stocking the boat is very thrilling, but we're going to try to show you the whole thing. Not that it was that good. Beautiful afternoon. Next two days were beautiful, actually. So there you go, making our turn into B Dock, Bravo Dock. We were going to Bravo 4. We knew where that was, but the dock attendants didn't get that message, so they tried to put us in Bravo 6. And then decided at the last minute, it's Bravo 4. So let me go. You can hear Francis in the background a little bit there. Giving me all the extra help I need. There's a guy over there. You probably can't see him, but he's coming out in front of that sea ray just to see what I'm going to do. I want to hit that sea ray. We don't want to hit anything, actually. Okay, now they're telling me six, so I guess I'll head for six. Uh, becomes apparent that it's not six, it's four. So I head for six, and then they say to me, no, nope. uh, no, you gotta come over here. Okay, so we can do that. Back out again. Don't worry, we don't hit them. And then back the other way. You know, it's mid-season here. And these dock guys should have been, I think, a lot better than they were, but... You know, what the heck. In we go. And 
take a line off the back of the boat. And we're finally there. Very few boats here in midweek. But uh, by uh, Saturday, news of the big storm came in and this place just emptied out instantly. Everybody wanted to go home. It's going to blow really good. And it did. So we decided to leave as well, thinking that early Saturday morning, this is about 8 o'clock in the morning, would be uh, perfect to get us out of here before the big east winds arrived. So we went out. Wind caught us immediately as soon as we pulled out. The east is on you, the left of your screen. And you can see the flags blowing on that boat. It had started to... It's doing pretty good. Now in here, in this marina, we're sheltered by, strangely enough, by Shelter Island. Keeps this, uh, you know, fairly, the surface water fairly calm. But we uh, turned and backed out. Wind caught us immediately as soon as we got the back of the boat into the wind. But we did it okay. Finally came out into the fairway. You can see the place is again empty. Get a lot of encouragement from Francis. Always welcome. Okay. Let's go. Time to go. Finally back into the fairway. And uh, out into uh, the bay between the North Fork of Long Island and Shelter Island, which was, as you'll see, fairly calm. In fact, it was so calm that I shut off the camera, not knowing what I would do with all that footage of us just motoring along. But when we got through the breakwater out into uh, the bay, uh, it stirred up pretty good. And the further we went, okay, looking good. the worse it got. So we ended up having a, an extremely uncomfortable trip back to um, Connecticut. We have about 12 uh, miles of uh, Long Island Sound to transit. In this case, the wind coming almost directly on our nose. And I think the tide just perfect to give us some nice big rollers. And we disturb things in the cabin a little bit, but you know, it's boating. It really doesn't make any difference. We're not going to kill ourselves. So it was a somewhat abbreviated trip to Greenport, but um, and we still enjoyed. The people you meet on the dock are really nice. Some people from different parts of New England, some people from Connecticut, like us. So we turn east and uh, you can see it's ideal conditions here. But when we pass the end of the island up there, that's when the wind starts to blow. Anyway, we made it home fine. Another good trip. One we hope to do again soon.